think sir and yeah dear tassi the bs president the co-function i see abu jose eh mabunu eh yeah this idea no and answer now bring your fair understanding of what happened you begin to ask yourself say eh dear nana koso i don't know because now a non-political activity i a youth of ghana and asia and like an entertainment show so and yes a political activity and as a political function that will be called with a preconceived motive said this is what i'm going to do you mm. understand and i don't know what that said not nipani aware said the president was coming or not but i will have president bar stage you know not you to know simon like simultaneously something that happened it was spontaneous and clearly you could see say a man for who president you know certain anger been about a man for him and the reaction because you see so we had the kind of promises in the near marcos okuma and i heard the current state of this particular country at mm. this particular point in time whenever you see the president now had the promises i will make here definitely you'll be disappointed mm. so it, it was a natural reaction from Ghanaians. ah i confirmed the level of disappointment can the veil of hopelessness are a center over your friends a over this particular country the fact that youth unemployment is skyrocketing there is no definitive plan i they go acquire we say maybe these are the measures government are put in place and some of the uh, opportunity and i say some creative avenues of creative for the youth for instance okay about the your friend is saying the napco initiative People thought say it's one of the things a bit have taken care mm. of the situation. But few years after and then Napko no mm. I'm told say let it be for me now and I'll catch them and say Napko no. Yes, I and the salary last year November, mm. last last month no mutiamano. Mm. Clearly after you see this year how many months in mm. here. But I feel the year to year November 2021, we at Yamano. So clearly that particular even policy no cry, yes, 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 stop gap measure. No? Mm -hmm. The government couldn't sustain it. And then you we'll flip it back to the economic arena, Na, locally, domestically. You no, know, just look at the CD dollar rate. So who your business last year? That's a ukra. Let's say two years ago, and that's a year, about two years ago. Ukra hundred thousand dollars. Ah, when the kwabo ntin kofa enema ebe diga. We na mo kanya she. Baby, a yaba bedu ene. You are likely say about thirty to forty percent of your capital and what lose you, all because of dollar CD. Your friend say relation depreciation and air cost wa. The government is absolutely putting no measures in place to ensure that you bit me upset the balance na imbalance na uh, economy na you know. Mm. Then at the at the international level, who has say all the credible rating agencies in the United downgrading the economy of this particular country? The most credible, your friend is a financial institution, rating institution anymore. We are say me can the member team your Moody's, the member team your Fitch. They're about to me S and P. These are the credible rating agencies. Uh. So investor club want to know the secret about Ghana. The, almost call card no more. Mm. These agencies, you know, downgrading Ghana, telling us that the confidence in the Ghana's economy is shattered and broken. So I know the day, you know. So investors in the secret about they will look at the S and P rating. They will look at Fitch. They will look at the, so no money is coming to the system. And again, you are running the economy now, born out to the stand, say. Uh, Capital market are uh, yeah, access to Ghana may a middle income state. You know, you see all the money is an every Britain would institution like the MF, World Bank na ever free, you no, know, because now you lower middle income way no and but we do middle or not. You are self-sufficient, like all the hooker crap. So we had access to the capital market. We decided within a short period, say you bet your asset your fence the capital market in it, yeah, the you fee can no for real was just trotting or cobasa floaty bond. Within a short period of four years, you know, now your floating bond is a car about chrome or true bond, don't quite over 11 billion dollars. Am I in economy? No, I'm on for who says, Sika never buy any intimate finance. Ain't he's a gun, I see a bond since our cobble sees a sea, and I saw the baby diga, and I saw copper sika about the way. I could float bond now, or be any more than a sika by yet. And it's a way of youth. Now, here the air cost of Ghana. Now, here's in the midst of this stormy situation. The president, his ministers, and people who are supposed to take care of the situation and ensure us at least, you me here, you know, are not doing anything. Mm. And on top of that, you have a large size of government, government, uh, yeah, your friend is saying, 
uh, the number of people are just setting or more are or more occupy the various position mm. we had a size of government for instance ministers deputy ministers and then i said for the amount of money i had the more more then you go to the flag star house people who are there as presidential staff as soon as for in the midst of this stormy situation what do you expect is at least a uh, certain measures is being taken at the executive level so mm. it may mitigate the effect uh, at least government expenditure to certain extent you know and then from mm. but Nothing is being done about the situation. What I say? So, a basa, the ordinary girl in the youth now, or where now, or all the Nenito, a bind at least government will do something. Because my catcher said, Yes, no government in the world could fall by a Mahama by a wine, a bind beer, and whoever bar, or bet you back with a pretty job. I'm a gun and need beer in your beer yet. But Kakana, or bet you, you also lay a solid foundation for economic takeoff. Mm -hmm. And it's certain incentive, certain competitive edge via the perfect school, but at least over take advantage. Certain initiative, you have money panel of a high or more. That is what you do. But in the face of all the challenges going on, nothing is being done. The last time I came here and I told you, sir, at post COVID era, the, the challenges are US for Elcom, mm -hmm. despite the various your friend say, intervention, interventional programs are buying the sure. buyer. You know? mm -hmm. Biden, I'm making it uh, your friend say, policy, sir. Obi our assessing student loan in the United States of America aye below ten thousand dollars mm -hmm. Government is passing them a reproof. Now Omo Omo this akani ni na ano. Avanyese wa wa fasa akano. Wa fasa akano. Omo just here. So in such an economy, no. So what 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 program is that what they will salary ever kwa yesa adena. Now you have a free space to use that particular money or to realign it or channel it to other productive areas. But I don't know if you But I don't know if you have a festival and a president. I don't know if you have a the usual rhetoric, just harness the situation. You have to use the Shia, you have to use just like the usual political narrative. You have to spend it and in the end, nothing comes of it, out of it. I have told you, you have to use the youth of today. Are you different from the youth in 10 years ago? Mm. Those times, you know, information are not available. But now, with the advent of this new media and this social media stuff, mm -hmm. you know, people are becoming very receptive to the information that is flowing from the other media. Yes, first, you now you depend on the traditional media, GBC, uh, your friends, hey, uh, other radio stations, mm. they control the narrative. But now, it is out of their control, and that information is available. So, the average and the ordinary Ghanaian no, no, is now enlightened, mm -hmm. socially active. Politically conscious, what I say, and you know, but you know how now by Rattel, the blah 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 blah, who says Sabi and Sabra Wokano and Yan Sama Effa, so they would not take you serious. So, what happened at the fanfare, whether you think say, it was right or not, no, I think that that isn't the issue, but it is a it is a clear demonstration of the fact, say, the average Ghanaian, no, I lose trust and confidence in people who are manning. The, 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 the administration or who are manning this particular country. Mm. They have no trust in them. That is why uh, it was a spontaneous reaction. And those who are reading other meanings to it say it was politically motivated, it was some kind of a machination. But, that but, was but, communication, Deputy Communication Director, Edema, a year MPP, a year Usu Bempa, yeah, um, Eba out. In fact, we issue statements, uh, I think Monday or Tuesday, yeah, Eka say, um, it was an orchestration by the NDC. And this NDC, anyway, and I retracted, said they have nothing to do with it, but then it is coming from the people, a year generally from the people. Yeah, yeah I, I, I think that is quite infantile, say, Ubibe Jinawa Biaka said, what happened. Uh, uh, yeah, politically motivated and mm. a certain machination being orchestrated by opposition parties in the NASA forum. Mm. And my culture said that whatever happened then wasn't a political movement. It wasn't like a demonstration. And I met no one, maybe other activists that could never be say, yeah, 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 people knew say we are politically active. So sometimes you know, some of the reaction in a bit, but we are talking about individuals and music lovers and as for me, say music concerts and as for him, then I'm not interested in those things. I don't go there, you understand. Mm. So most of the people who went there, you know, most of them are not even politically inclined. Okay. Mm -hmm. so they went there purposely because musicians were coming. Mm. What has yet? So it it was a fanfare kind of something among for call, ah, I'm going to entertain you, I'm going to make a chill. So for B to say, say, I am politically motivated, it's a, it's, a, it's a way to skew the whole, never mind you see, you know, just to skew the whole thing and give it a different interpretation. What I say? Mm. Because, you see, what happened, you know, I saw it all over on various platforms, 
the, uh, DW Africa, mm -hmm. BBC, and other way, I take a snapshot of it and it's trending. And you see, it's giving a very bad image to, 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 to the government, especially at this time. Uh, uh, the economic turbulence, I do love what Sebi also I don't want to know. And you know, my catcher said we have spin doctors in politics. Mm. Politics are evolved what we love what there are people we call spin doctors. Mm. What they do is to change the bad narrative to good narrative. So, and a chrome panel, your politics and your narrowing out to the stance that whenever critical issues bearing crucial national interest, they're back. Now, see, yeah, 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 politicizing and NDC and MPP, then the whole. Uh, the whole thing you know, in the essence and we just brush it aside oh and or kind of and this for then they'll brush it aside but the reality is uh, what is dawning on us uh, the economy are uh, broken the ordinary Ghanaian and uh, trust and confidence and that there is the need for government to have self introspection and begin to accept uh, mm. I recently 2016 when people lost confidence in the NDC administration, people felt the NDC was not doing better, and Akufuado was seen as an alternative. Mm. Akufuado, among Fonya, hope and trust and confidence in him, jeering him, and he won the 2016 election, mm. becoming president. Fast forward, why are people hooting at him? Why is it that if you go to various social media platforms, the president, among for a man of that kind of recognition anymore, go to the president his own war, a brother president, the Kufuad be post to a DBA Facebook via go down and see the kind of reaction coming. What I mm. say? So it is this what happened in an isolated like incident that I could see at a function. It is all over on social media. If you go even under the president post within the chat on social media, the same reaction you, you saw sort of at the fair mm -hmm. no? it's been demonstrated right under his wall. Mm. So Nippon or Manage the war, no, our problem. Well, all that they've been doing is deleting comments. Sometimes we call over likes in the doors, and I say shares in the doors, but we have comments in our corner. It's worried because a bad comment and people are deleting them because mm. I just uh, give them a very terrible image. Mm. What I say. Mm. So what happened? You know, for it, it, is, it is quite childish and infantile for anybody to sit somewhere and say uh, it was politically motivated. And I say, or being orchestrated yet. It is time so I say. I just self introspection. I can't say I could find out twenty sixteen. Now Ghana for Jimmy to mess with us or no? What happened? And then next year, as I say, the Ghana for a bo a huru no on on the stage. So at that point, you know, who say at least there is a need for us to do something because if we begin to read political meanings into everything, turning everything into NDC MPP thing, I don't know that we will not move forward because Omo Omo call her. You know, we need to know. So even a bit of your politicians, we are not saying a bit of your political activists. Mm -hmm. Many of us are not the NDC for, and the people who are disappointed in the Kufuado administration at this point in time, you know, I go beyond uh, the political blocks. So, and I said the partisan blocks. It's not just the NDC. I have a number of people, Ghanaians, living in the United States, living outside this particular country, who are not inclined to NDC MPP politics, or they have in mind the sense of being your friend and saying a Ghanaian. That is what, and they want to see Ghana. Being a better place that will offer opportunity and incentive to OBI. So when they look at what has happened in Ghana, they have lost confidence and trust in, in, in the economy. Mm. And I think that is that should be a major concern for policy makers and power welders, office holders to be very much concerned about the current situation and then begin to think about an alternative way of flipping the narrative. Say that at least something better will be done. Mm. But you limit the whole thing. We, we decide not to lift the discourse beyond the frontiers of partisan politics. Now, yes, yeah, yeah, and you yeah, be careful into partisan politics, and whatever happened, NDC, MPP, yeah, we will never move forward. It's the reason why people have started a lot of comments. They were sponsored, they were bars to go. You see, you don't need to bars people to go and boo at Akufuado. Social media is a larger platform, and I think if you go there, the kind of reaction, response from Ghanaians, so far as this whole administration is concerned, you don't need to bash people to go and boo. It's a fact that people have lost trust and confidence in mm. Akufuado as a, as a person, his government, the kind of systems he put in place. Because, for instance, this is a person who told you that MF is a no-go area. It's for lazy people who have lost, you know, touch with whatever that they are doing. People who cannot calibrate their own government, you know. When you design, say you have failed, that's when you go to IMF. And then this person is chasing and begging IMF to come and redeem them. So what, what does that tell you? On one case, I lose trust and confidence in himself before God. He's going after something he has over the years bastardized, demonized. Ah, what can't say, Today he's begging them, sitting at the negotiation table with IMF. 
And that is what is going on. So I think that the, the, there are enough evidence abound to demonstrate the fact that Ghanaians are lose confidence and trust in the Kufuado. And what happened there, you know, I think that whether good or bad, you know, that should serve as a wake-up call to him, sir. Okay. At this point, mm. whether the numbers were enough, whatever, whatever, you know, it's quite unusual for a president to take a stage and people will be booing our, our team. It's quite unusual. So it is up to him, sir. Quite recently, I was the darling boy of Ghanaians. Ghanaians were jeering. Aku Fado was very popular in 2016 or when he was coming. 2015-2016. Yes, exactly. Mm. People were, even ordinary Ghanaians gave him money to the extent of Oko Kumasiya. Kaya Yefuono, no one did it to Emfa Mano. Even a car dealers association. Exactly. Oko Abosu Okai. But now Abosu Okai, he is just a president who has his own hair on the panel. What happened? So it is the activity now, Brabo, Mwabo, over the years, you know, and add, add, add the picture out there. So they need to sit up, just do self introspection, and begin to ask themselves, eh, na yanye ni ye, dear, na ako wrong. Mm. Because you see, Maka said, there is no perfect government anywhere in the world. But for you to listen and try to do something about the many challenges that are happening, you listen to the many concerns and whatever that people are uh, expressing, you know, but they have decided to block their mind to the reality. They have created their own, own false sense of reality. So who sitting here, if you look at the political arena and the economic arena, you see there are a lot of challenges, married of problems that you expect power wielders at least to do something to salvage the situation. Because he has created a false sense of reality and he's living in that utopian world, you know, he doesn't see those challenges. So he thinks everything is cool. So today when the president takes the say, you tell me that his ministers are performing, everything is cool. He go to BBC and defend. So in the face of all that has happened, everything is cool. But today we are begging IMF. Katie Amund.